it's Friday and it is um, day 22. We are doing pages 333 to 340 today. So let's just go ahead and jump right in it. We have a lot to talk about. So first thing that it talks about is it talks about what a ratio is. Okay. So when we're talking about a relationship ratio, we're talking about a relationship of the size and quantity of two or more things. Like this is carbon, chlorine has two, fluorine has two. And so if we will look at these, we can break them down into moles um, of each one. Okay, so we could do the whole thing here and then one mole of carbon and this whole thing times two moles of chlorine or this whole thing times uh, two moles of fluorine. And what I'm talking about is you will find out as we go through. So the first one here is where we're going to find out how many moles of fluorine atoms are in 5.50 moles of freon. So when we look at our equation for freon, freon is CCL2F2. But the only thing we're concerned with is just the fluorine by itself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do 5.50, open bracket, alpha Y, enter, 2 over 1, close our bracket, and hit enter. So right now, if you look, that's telling me there's 5.5 moles of this compound. But we want to know how many moles is of that compound is fluorine by itself. So that's what we're doing here. So let's look at 29. 29 gives us ZnCl2. But the question asks us for chlorine is the only thing we need to find. Okay? See the subscript of 2, that means that's how many there is. So it tells us there's 2.50 moles of ZnCl2 and it's asking us how much of it is Cl. Okay, so we're going to do 2.50, open bracket, alpha Y, enter. We're going to do 2 over 1, and then we're going to close our bracket, and we're going to hit enter, and then we get 5 moles of chlorine. The next one's asking us for 1.25 moles of CHH12O6, and it's only trying to find carbon by itself. So we're going to do 1.25, open bracket, alpha Y, enter. There is 6 moles of carb, I mean of oxygen, over 1. Close our bracket, and we get 7.5 moles of carbon. The next one is 1.25 moles of C6H12O6. And we're looking just for hydrogen by itself. So to be able to do that, we're going to take our 1.25 again. We're going to open our bracket, alpha Y, enter. And this time we are looking for hydrogen, and there's 12 of them, isn't it? 12 divided by 1, close bracket, and that gives us 50 moles of hydrogen. And then the last one that we have here is oxygen, and as you can see, there's 6 oxygens. So 1.25, open bracket, alpha Y, enter. We're going to do um, 6 over 1, close our bracket, and that's going to give us 7.5 moles of oxygen. So what we've done here is we have taken, and I'm sorry for the green writing because I did it on the back. We are finding out how many carbons in CHH12O6, how many hydrogens and how many oxygens, and we're just basically breaking those down. Okay, guys? The last one is asking us for SO4, okay? Now, when we do this, SO4, if you look on the back of your periodic table, your SO4 has a 2 minus. Do you see that? That's what I've got here, SO4, 2 minus. So, we're going to do 3.0, open bracket, alpha Y, enter. We're going to say there's 3 moles of that over 1 mole of the compound which is going to give us 9 moles of SO4, 2 minus. And then the last one here is we're looking for how many moles of oxygen are in P2O5, okay? 
So there are five moles. If we're looking just for um, oxygen by itself, oxygen has five. So that's five over one. And we're going to close our bracket. And when we do that, then we have 25, and there's my answer for 25 oxygen.